my dear learners. How are you today? This is Aramel. In this lesson, we are going to learn about reading and interpreting electric and water meter consumption. You will also learn how to record, interpret, and write the electric and water meter reading. So this is an example of electric meter. And this is an example of water meter. Okay, now this is what we call the dials. Okay, ito yung dials ng electric meter. Palaki natin. Okay, so this is the dials of an electric meter. The same thing as sa water meter. Ganyan din yung dials niya. Okay. Titignan natin, red nga lang yung kamay niya pero it's almost the same. Now, yung first dial natin, kung mapansin nyo yung arrow papunta sa right. So meaning, so yung 1 dito siya mag start So from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then the next dial, kita nyo yung arrow papunta sa left. Meaning, dito mag start yung 1. So ito yung uh, counterclockwise ito naman yung uh, clockwise direction so alternate lang siya no? so this is clockwise papunta sa right yung 1 and then second dial is papunta sa left third dial sa right ulit fourth dial papunta sa left and then fifth dial papunta sa right so hindi sila lahat nag start sa kanan yung 1 okay? now how do we read this Okay, bibigyan ko kayo ng mas madaling explanation dito. Okay, so how do we read this? So, pag tinignan nyo itong dalawa, 0 and 1, alin ang mas mababang number? Diba? 0. So, automatic, lagay nyo agad yung 0. Kasi siya yung mas mababa. Okay, 0. Okay, dito. So, dito siya nakaturo between 2 and 3. So, alin mas mababa? Okay, that's 2. Dito, alin mas mababa? That is 7. Dito, 4 and 5. So, that is, mababa ay uh, 4. And then, the last one. So, between 6 and 7. So, ano? Okay, yung mas mababa, 6. Pero, if yung hand natin ay nakaturo eksakto sa 7, so, that is 7. Okay? Pero pag in between, so piliin nyo yung mas mababang number. So this is read as 64,720 kilowatts. Okay. Okay, so how to read the dials of electric meter? So let's try to answer this. Basahin natin. So mag start tayo lagi sa right side. Okay, so right side. Right side. So, ito yung nasa right side. So, basahin natin. Ano kaya ito? 1 or 2? Okay, that's 1. Very good. 1. And then, this one is? So, 5 and 6. Alin mas mababa? Okay, para hindi malito, no? 5. And then, this is, of course, diretso. Nakaturo sa 0. And then, this one, 8 and 9. That is? Okay, mas mababa. So, 8. This one. Okay, this is obvious kasi direkta siyang nakaturo sa 3. Okay. Oops. So, 38,051. Okay, this is 1. So, that's the reading. So, how about this one? Let us read. So, this is... Between 8 and 9, alam mo mababa. So, 8. And then, 5 and 6. So, 5. Here, 6 and 5. Okay. Mas mababa yung pinukuha natin. 5. And this is 0. And another 0. So, we have 558 kWh. Okay. And questions about this? Easy, right? Okay, so to compute for water or electric meter consumption for a particular period of time, 
simply subtract the previous reading from the present reading. Okay, so ano kaya yung previous reading and present reading? Malaman natin mamaya. Okay, problem number one. Let's try to answer this. Mr. Matipid is computing his monthly electrical consumption. Based on his electric bill, last month he was able to consume 124 kilowatt hours. So last month. When he checked his digital electric meter, the reading was 197 kilowatt hour. Tumaas ba? Bumaba? Of course, tumaas. Siyempre. Kasi gumamit siya ng kuryente. So, tumaas. Ito yung nakaraan na ni-reading niya. And then, yung sumunod na nag-reading siya, binasa niya yung electric meter niya, naging 197. So, from 124, naging 197. Tumaas, di ba? Kasi gumamit siya ng kuryente. So, how many kilowatt hours did Mr. Matipid consume this month? Okay, so according to this problem, so last month, nakakonsume siya ng 124 kilowatt hour. Okay, after a month, nung binasa niya ang kanyang electric meter, so ang reading is 197 kilowatt hour. So the question is, how many kilowatt hours did Mr. Matipid consume this month? Okay, so ito yung dial niya. So, yung present reading niya, yung mas malaking kilowatt hour. So, alin yun? Ito yun. 0, 0, this is 1, 9, and 7. Ito yung tinatawag natin present reading. Kung yung, yung last month ay, let's say, anong buwan ba ngayon? Today is June. So, kung yung last reading niya is May, ito yung last reading niya. 0, 0, this is 1. This is 2 and this is 4. So, ito yung tinatawag natin na previous reading. So, ito yung last month na reading. Yung present reading, ito yung ngayon. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung previous reading mas maliit kesa sa present reading. Kasi nga, from 124, gumamit siya ng kuryente, natural, tataas yun. Okay? So, how do we solve or compute per water or electric meter consumption for a particular period of time? Sabi niyan, simply subtract the previous reading from the present reading. So, present reading is 0, 1, 9, 7 minus previous reading. So, 124. Sabi niyan, subtract the previous reading. Ito yun from the present reading. So, subtract natin. 7 minus 4 is 3. 9 minus 2 is 7. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ang nakonsume ni Mr. Matipid na kuryente is 73 kilowatt hour. Okay? Ito yung nakonsume niya in a month. Okay? So, the amount of electricity used by an appliance appliances is equal to the product of the electric power of the appliance and the time. So, for example, ito yung formula natin. Electric consumption is equals to number of watts times time divided by 1,000. Itong number of watts may kitin sa mga appliances natin. Okay, kung ilang watts. Okay. Nakalagay yan doon. Then, ita times nyo sa time kung gaano nyo katagal siyang ginamit. And then, divided by 1,000. Okay? So, let's say for example, How much electricity will be consumed by a 50-watt light bulb that was turned on for 8 hours? Okay, so, magkano kaya yung electric consumption nun? So, nakagiben yung 50 watts na light bulb. Okay? Tapos yung ginamit ito ng 8 hours. So, electric consumption is equals to number of watts times time divided by 1,000. So, yun ang formula natin. So, yung number of watts is ilan? 50. Okay, 50 watts. And then times, yung time natin, gaano katagal ginamit yung bulb? 8 hours. So, times 8. Then, divided by 1,000. So, 50 watts times 8 hours is equals to 400. Divided by 1,000, that is equals to 
4 kilowatt hour. Okay. So, this is the electricity consumed by the 50 watt light bulb that was turned on for 8 hours. So, sa loob ng 8 hours, ito na consume yung kuryente. Okay? For problem number 3, the Masino family made a record of their 3-month water consumption. So, tatlong buwan na water consumption to, no? During the same period, during the COVID-19 pandemic. The initial reading is 873 cubic meter and the meter read as March is 1,020, April is 1,342, and May is 1,521. Now, ang instruction dyan is we are going to subtract the initial reading which is 873 from the first month which is March. This is 1,020 cubic meters. So, isa subtract natin. So, 1,020 minus 873 is equals to 147 cubic meters. So, this is the water consumption for March. For April, so, subtract natin yung March from April. So, 1,342 cubic meter minus yung March, which is 1,020 cubic meter, is equals to 322 cubic meter. That is the water consumption for April. For May naman, so, subtract natin yung April sa May. So, ito yung pre present reading, which is 1,521 cubic meter. Minus 1,342 cubic meter that is equals to 179 cubic meter. This is the water consumption for May. So, ilan ang water consumption sila for March? 147. Ang water consumption nila for April is 322 uh, cubic meter. And then, for water consumption for May, how many? How much? 179 cubic meter. So, to get the total amount of water consumed within 3 months sa loob ng 3 buwan ilan ang na consume nilang water so add lang natin yung 147 plus 322 ito yun plus 179 cubic meter that is equals to 648 cubic meter okay so pag tinanong naman ano yung average monthly consumption nila so to get the average monthly consumption consumption just simply uh, divide 648 yung total water consumed nila for 3 months divided by 3 months. So you get the average monthly consumption which is equal to 216 cubic meter. So this is the end of the lesson. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye! -bye.